So last year I had a look on eBay and I managed to find this, Fun and Games for the Sega Mega Drive for £5. It supports the mouse apparently, even though I don't have one to test it with unfortunately, and it was published by Sony. Um, on the back of the box it reads, come and enter the clubhouse and explore the games, activities, art and music packages. There's loads to do and that only limits your imagination. Fun and Games, it's too cool for school. Uh, now I bought this for £5, it's not a terribly well known game, um, I didn't know about it until I saw it and uh, yeah there's like a, a dinosaur on there doing like a ballerina type thing with uh, chicken legs, um, a UFO, paintbrush and some music so um, yeah I didn't really think that uh, a review format would do this well, I thought a quick play where I kind of play through it and you get to see it in real time is probably a better format for this for this particular game. <laughs> so uh, is it any good? Well, let's take a look in this video. <laughs> okay, so here we have the Fun and Games Clubhouse. Um, I, uh, it certainly looks happy. Um, <laughs> let's uh, let's dive right in, shall we? Okay, so we have uh, this little box with crazy eyes. We have this happy jukebox, kind of a depressed arcade, uh, a very strange uh, wardrobe. Let's have a look at the. Uh, let's go for the crazy eyes and the mustache first, shall we? Okay, so, um... <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> we have one of these, um, I guess, avatar makers. Um, let's go with the... Let's go with the dinosaur face. <laughs> he looks very happy. Um, we have kind of like a spaceman. What on earth is going on? A very shy dinosaur. Very proud dinosaur. <laughs> Don't know what that is. Uh, okay, so I'm kind of getting a feel for how this game's going to be already. Um, I kind of forgot quite how bad it was. I had a quick. <laughs> I might go with those. Uh, I had a quick blast of this uh, when I bought it last year, but um, I kind of forgot I I think my memory decided to just pretend this never happened um, <laughs> let's go with this let's go with this cool uh, dinosaur with space age cowboy boots let's, let's go for that that's a good look I think um, if I remember correctly you can the character that you made there you can input over here so We'll go in the wardrobe as well and see. Uh, okay, I don't remember this bit. Crazy. Crazy. Wild. Not. What? <laughs> Did he just say gross, or was that kind of like a, a burp? <laughs> gross. <laughs> Roadie. Crazy. Wild. Cool. Chilling. Roadie. What? Wild. Wacky. Yeah. Hmm. Sound, sound like... Yeah, I think he said gross. Um, what on earth? What on earth is going on? Okay. Um, yeah, why not? Deep sea diver in a dress with a snorkel holding a snake. This is certainly too cool for school. Um... <laughs> Okay, so we might get through this video quite quick. Um, I think you might already have an idea of what it's like. Um, in all its amazement, uh, let's draw. Oh, okay. Start off with pink. Okay. Okay, very nice. Um, looks kind of phallic. Um, let's. Uh, so you can change the colours here, so um, 
it's a bit hard to draw. I'm using the uh, gamepad at the moment. Uh, I guess you can undo as well. <laughs> with, a, with a very pleasing duck sound. Um, okay, so you can change your brush. That's pretty cool. Um, I imagine that's Phil. Uh, let's have a look at this. What's this? Okay, so we have some music whilst we get in the kind of uh, creative mood, you know, get in the creative atmosphere. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> let's, um, let's put her up here, shall we? <laughs> that doesn't look dodgy at all. Uh, what's the duck? What's the duck? Oh! <laughs> there we go. It's our dinosaur friend. He can stand over here. Oh, we can put loads of them. I'll just put the one. Oh, and there's our... There we go. Um... Okay. So, uh... Yeah, I'm not really sure what to think of this. Um... There's a, a pig face. There we go, put that on there. There's a watermelon up here for some reason. Oh, okay. That just, for some reason, a watermelon is a mirror. So, I'm not quite sure. Um, I think that's meant to be a monkey. Uh, this might be the YouTube thumbnail that I choose uh, for this particular video. <laughs> It'll get taken down, no doubt. Um, tree as well. There we go. What a lovely piece of art. Um, yeah. Music's probably going to make a lot of people go insane. Put a helicopter up here as well. So it's like a desert strike. Oh wow, we've got animated ones. Okay. So we'll have a little cat down here. And... Uh, what is that? Looks like sick. Let's put that... Let's put sick over here. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's like an explosion or magma or something. Um, click the oh no button. Oh, right. It just says, oh no, it doesn't actually do anything. <laughs> okay, well, um, I don't know how long to spend on this picture, because you kind of get the idea. Um, it's pretty good. Um, yeah. Okay, so that's... <laughs> that's the that's the art side of the programme. Um, what else we've we got? So we've done the crazy man, we've done the wardrobe, we've done the art. Um, let's do the arcade. I know what you're all thinking, let's do the arcade. So we have Mouse Maze, Space Laser and Whacker Clown. Um, it says a controller's recommended for this part, so I already have a controller plugged in. Uh, so let's have a little look at Mouse Maze. Okay. Um, so it's a Pac-Man clone. Ah, oh dear. Uh, can't go that way. Oh, oh dear. Come on. Oh no. Um, I'm not usually this bad. Oh wow, you turn into a dog. Okay, that helps. Oh wow, the controls are pretty awful. There we go. Aha. There we go. Um, <laughs> the controls are pretty bad, actually. They're a little bit difficult to um, to manoeuvre around. There's kind of like a little bit of input lag. But, I mean, it might be the controller. They're not the best controllers. Um, you know, over time, as they get older. Oh no, I just needed that last piece of... That cheese looks really funky. There we go. Um, it it doesn't look. It looks like a wobbly piece of pizza. Okay, so game over. Um, I 
don't really want to try that again. <laughs> the games. Um, I, I'm going to go for Whacker Clown first because Space Laser probably looks like it's going to be the most amount of fun. Um, oh wow. Okay, so with the Mega Drive D-pad, um, this is what on earth? This is really difficult. <laughs> This is... <laughs> oh, there we go. Is he a clown? He didn't look like a clown. He just looked like a car salesman. Um, we'll see where I get my cars from. They might look a little bit different where you buy your cars from. But, um, yeah, it looks like a car salesman to me. That one... Oh, top right, and that one looks definitely like a clown. Oh, no. I hit the, uh, the seal again. I'm getting the hang of it. The um, the controller's just a little bit sensitive, trying to get the kind of diagonals and ah, game over again. Um, <laughs> now, if you're still uh, watching this video, if you haven't already just quit the video and rushed off to buy this game um, because it looks so good and so much fun, <laughs> we're going to try Space Laser now. <laughs> Oh my word. Um, and we still have the music to try after this. Uh, but this might be a short video. Oh, wow. Um, it's... Uh, okay. Okay, so it's like a space... I mean, they've tried, haven't they? Um, I think Mario Paint is better. Um, most people use Mario Paint for the music maker as well though. Um, so we will definitely check that out in just a minute because my NRG is 88, <laughs> which I assume is energy, and uh, hit is 10, whatever that means. Is that health? Or how many I've destroyed? Yes, yeah, how many I've destroyed. Oh wow, they've actually bothered to um, implement a boss doesn't quite work in the same way as, um, as yeah, dear oh dear, Space Harrier, does it? It's not quite the Space Harrier boss. And it's taking down my health. I kind of just want to give up. But part of me can't. <laughs> I just... I'm just one of those that just doesn't want to give in. There we go. His head exploded into various... I kind of wished I'd tried a little bit harder now, because I'm curious to see if they have different bosses. Um, oh wow, there's loads of these. So, Okay, so they bothered to make more than one enemy type. Uh, here we go. Our little radar thing. Um, yeah. I imagine that this is quite an early... Um, Mega Drive title. Oh, no, it's the same boss. Okay. I mean, imagine if you got this game, if you received this as a present or you got it for Christmas. Um, you would just be heartbroken, wouldn't you? If your friends all got Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat and Sonic and stuff and you just got fun and games, you would, uh, yeah, you would not be a happy chappy. Um, yeah, so that's the games. Um, we have one remaining uh, section. I think if you go back into these, let's have a look. Yeah, it does, it does save your artwork. <laughs> it does save it. Um, yeah. But obviously when you turn the game off and turn it on, there's no kind of battery save or anything. Uh, so here is the music maker. So we have some basic notes. Um, so you scroll across. Got a little star there. Okay, I'm not quite sure what that star's for. Um, move along. What is that for? That's piano. All oh, right, that's what we're on. We're doing the piano at the moment. Okay. And uh, we've got 
guitar. Let's get some guitars in here. Let's just do this quite randomly. Uh, it will be quite impressive if uh, when we hit the play button this actually sounds like any song at all. Well, that's a bit more different type of guitar there. Put a bit of trumpet in there. Uh, I imagine if you can read music and write music you'd probably do okay with this but uh, I can't so this might be terrible. Uh, pan pipes as well and we'll end on a kind of pan pipe crescendo. Here we go. It's going to sound good. It's going to sound amazing. Will it be the next Christmas number one? Let's find out. Let's go to the start. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> it sounds terrible as you'd expect. Um, you can make it faster, I think. This. Yep. And you can make it slower. Ooh, apart from the uh, the guitar bit, that was beginning to sound okay. Uh, so what have we got here? We have... Oh, you can do a drum beat behind it. Let's do that. Let's try that. Let's see what it sounds like with a drum beat behind it. <laughs> we probably could um, record some Mega Drive music on here, um, use this as a tool, because I know there's some kind of um, tools to create kind of 8-bit music uh, chip tune sort of thing, so we probably could use this to record something maybe. Uh, here's some samples. So what have we got? This is what they've... Okay, that's just showing off, isn't it? <laughs> And what else do we have here? We have a Christmas tune. Okay, very nice. And what else do we have? I think, uh, what is this? Okay, so we've got little... <laughs> we've got little, uh, little sound effects. Uh, so we put a couple of these in. So you can amend the music that's already in there, which is pretty cool. Uh, what other sound effects do we have? What on earth? <laughs> okay, we got people screaming as well. <laughs> so let's add some screams in there. Uh, I think that's an explosion as well over there. So let's. Uh, what is that one? <laughs> some lick noises. <laughs> Um, let's add that screen there as well. Sounds a bit like um, one of the Streets of Rage scream samples. Although that it's a bit more distorted the the one in the Streets of Rage game, I think. But uh, and then we'll what is that? Yeah, we'll, yeah. End on a uh, we'll end on an explosion. Or what is this? Why? <laughs> why? Why would you have? Why would you think? Right, let's get someone sneezing as a sound sample and a telephone. So the Christmas tune. Um, go back to start. <laughs> um. So yeah, I guess if you spent more time with this, you could probably have a bit more, bit more fun with it. <laughs> Little frog there. Um, yeah, so that's pretty, pretty terrible. Um, with your music, can you import your own music? Oh yes, you can. <laughs> So yeah, basically, um, 
Oh, that music is driving me crazy. Oh, we lost our little friend there. Um, so it doesn't save the dinosaur dude. Um, yeah, so this game, um, is it worth five pounds? I'm not really sure. You probably could do some nice little uh, art effects on here. Um, I don't know why it makes that noise. Um, <laughs> you could, yeah, you probably could. Um, you probably could make some interesting art and music on this, but is it worth five pounds? Probably not. Um, was it worth me doing a review? Um, I don't think it would be worth me doing a review. Hence the quick play. Uh, it's just, yeah, it's it's pretty bad. <laughs> Like I said, you probably could come up with some interesting, uh, some interesting bits and bobs, um, but yeah, it's certainly not uh, Mario Party. So, um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed uh, this video, experiencing fun and games with me, which is uh, paint, games, music, and style. Um, the motto was "It's too cool for school." I probably think school was more fun than this. This is pretty terrible. <laughs> so. <laughs> If you have five pounds to spend and you see this game come up on eBay, I would recommend that you probably spend it on Shaq Fu instead or Rise of the Robots because this is probably worse. Um, let me know what you think of the game in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. Please share it with your friends to help raise awareness of this terrible game to prevent them making the same mistake and purchasing it like I did. Um, <laughs> if you've played this yourself, if you received this, oh my word, if you received this for your birthday or Christmas <laughs> as a kid, uh, let me know in the comments below. It'd be interesting to, uh, to find out if anyone else has played this and what you think. And uh, yeah, if you've created any good music or artwork. As for me, that's all for this video. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.